Hey, this is video 7 of the decimals video series. This time we're looking at multiplying decimals by 10, 100, 1000, etc. Let's check it out. Okay, now let's just uh, establish something about decimal points first off. Every number has a decimal point, really, even if it's invisible. 3.76, there's a decimal point in there. I can spot it just after the 3. Even in 0.0006, there's a decimal point. Now, in the number 213, there doesn't seem to be a decimal point, but I like to think of it as invisible just at the end of um, the 3 there. There's an invisible decimal point at the end of every whole number as well. Let's not forget that. And we're also allowed to, if we want to, put as many zeros as we like after a decimal point or after other decimal digits have finished. So uh, we can add as many as we like at the end of a decimal if it helps our thinking. I'm just running through that because it does help in this particular topic to, to remember those things about decimal points and zeros. Okay, let's see how multiplying decimals by 10, 100 and 1000 etc. works. We move the decimal point one place to the right for every zero that we're multiplying by. So let's see some examples. It'll be clear once we've seen some examples. If we're multiplying by 10, now 10 has one zero, so that will mean we'll move the decimal point one place to the right from where it uh, starts in our question. Let's have a look at a quick example. We've got 3.76548. The decimal point at the moment is after the three, but we're going to move it one spot to the right and, uh, and just write down our answer. The decimal point has moved across to be between the 7 and the 6 in our answer because we were multiplying by 10. Okay, if we're multiplying a decimal by 100, 100 has two zeros, so that is a, gives us a clue that we're going to move our decimal point two places to the right. Here's the same number we started with in the previous example, but this time we're going to move two places to the right with our decimal point. And our final answer is 376.548 there. So we've moved across one place for every zero in the uh, number we're multiplying by. If we're multiplying by a thousand, you can see that's got three zeros. And I think you can pick the pattern here. We're going to move the decimal point three places to the right. One, two, three places. Same number we're starting with here, but this time we're moving the decimal point three places to the right and our final answer is there for you. So quite a pattern there, pretty straightforward once you pick the pattern. So let's just summarize here, we move the decimal point one place to the right for each zero. If we're multiplying by 10, that moves the decimal point one place to the right. If we're multiplying by 100, two places to the right, and multiplying by 1,000, three places to the right. So if we look at the zeros and move the decimal point uh, one for every zero, we should be pretty right there. A uh, bit of a shortcut method, really. Uh, I hope that uh, goes in your brain nicely there and you get plenty of practice, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.